How's it going everyone? It's Brivoas here and welcome to the channel. And in this video, we'll be showing you guys how to implement segmented control which able to switch between table views. Which each of the table views also contains a custom table view cell. So in this video, I'm just gonna create simple custom cells. So uh, here you have the label for text and label for the accessory type. And first of all, I would like to thank Nicholas Crespo for suggesting this video who says can you change a view into custom sales table view? So here you go, I would like to thank him again and we are going to start right now. Xcode, create new project, single view application. I'm just gonna call it segmented control switch custom table view. Next, create. First, let's go to main storyboard here and then click on the view controller editor embedded in navigation controller this is just to set the title so i'm just going to double click here and then say switch between custom table view here and then let's add segmented control here all right the first one will be labeled sport and the second one it's uh, fruit then let's add the actual table view here all right and don't forget to set the delegate and data source so i'm just going to control and drag table view to our view controller here data source and do it again for the delegate and i'm just going to select table view and the segmented control and click on to add constraints next i'm just going to click the whole view controller here go to the attributes inspector and i'm just going to uncheck the adjust control view insets this layout attribute will auto set the insets of the content in the table view it will just like uh, indent the content in the table view down a little bit so uh, we don't want that we want our content in the table view to always be on top of the table view right and if you want to try to to see the result you can just tick and just run it and you will see the difference all right so here in this case we are going to uncheck that one all right next let's make the outlets connection so i'm just going to open the ssn editor here and i'm just going to control and drag the segmented control you can drag either from here or from here so i'm just going to drag it here and then uh, change from outlet to action i'm just going to name it so which custom table view action and uh, from type you have to specify to segmented control here connect and of course also with the table view so i'm just going to control and drag table view in view controller i'm just going to name it table view connect here you go let's close the ssn editor here before we start going to implement the view controller, we are going to create our custom cell first. So I'm just going to right click at the main folder here and say new group. And I'm just going to call it this one cell. Right click on the cell folder and new file. And go to Cocoa Touch class, click next. And it is a subclass of UI table view cell. I'm just going to name it custom cell. Also create XIB file. Next. Create. First, let's go to the XIB file. We are going to simply add two labels as we have mentioned before at the beginning of the video. The first one will be the title. Yeah, so I'm just going to drop it here. Stretch it a little bit. And uh, the second one will be just the accessory text here. So that's it. I'm just going to select the two labels and then add the constraints. All right, and then Let's make an outlet connection. So I'm just going to open the SSN editor here. And then I'm just going to control and drag the first one here. I believe the first one is the title label one. So I'm just going to control and drag it in. I'm going to name it title label. And the second one is the accessory. So I'm just going to say accessory label connect. Let's close the SSN editor. We're going to save this XIB file. 
go back to Swift file. And here we go, we just need one function. I'm just gonna call it custom init, which is the custom initialization, which we are going to take two parameters. The first one is text, also of course a string, and then the second one is accessory text, also a string. Here we go. Self.title label dot text equal to this text. And then self dot accessory label dot text equal to accessory text. And then we are going to set the color of title label. So title label dot text color dot UI color dot white. And then let's change the content background. So self dot contain view dot background color equal to UI color dot dark gray. Let's save the file. And that's it, we're pretty much done with the preparation for the custom cell. Now we can actually implement our view controller here. So let's go back to it. First thing we need, of course, is the data. So I'm just gonna copy the data array here and paste it right in. And of course, you can just copy under the description below and paste it right here. And as you can see, the data array here is has the two dimensional. So we need one more attributes for identifying which of the table view is currently displaying. So I'm just gonna call it page which is just p which is int and of course when view is loaded we are going to set p as zero which is the first one all right now we are going to actually implement our table view so i'm just going to implement more of the delegate so ui table view delegate and ui table view data source here all right and before everything started when the view is just loaded we also have to register our custom cell to this table view, right? So we can dequeue it later. So we're going to create a nip file name here. So nip equal to ui nip here. Nip name will equal to the name of the class, which is custom cell with no bundle. And then we are, can actually register this one. So table view dot register. Make sure is the nip for cell reuse identifier. And then we are going to just pass this nip in here. And the identifier cell here, we are going to set it to a custom cell. And actually, we just going to go back to the XIB file. I forgot to set the identifier, I believe. So select custom cell here. And identifier here is empty. Let's set it to the same value, which is custom cell here. This one. Let's save the XIB file. Go back to view controller. Make sure it's the same. And uh, we're done. So we just register our custom cell to this table view. And then we're just gonna set the color for a table view. So table view dot background color equal to UI color dot dark gray and now we are going to actually implement the functions that will conform to these two protocols all right the first function is number of i think row in section yeah this one and we are going to return back the size of the data array so data which the first dimension is will be according to the current page and i'm just gonna say return the size and the second function is for cell, cell for row at, I think. Yeah, cell for row at. And then we are going to dequeue it from the table view. So let's say we go to table view dot dequeue with identifier, which is the identifier right here. And we need to cast it back to our custom cell so that we can call the custom in it. Then the text will be here at this part, the second part of the string and the accessory text will be on the first part of the string. So I think it would be better if I create a string, which is the whole one is will be shorter. So data, then the first page is P and then this index path dot row. Here you go. And now we can actually split them. So string, actually I can just split it right here. So I'm just gonna say dot components separated by space. So now we have the array of two sides. The first one is the 
uh, emoji here and the second one is the text so we can actually say string the first one is the text so it is it is at the second index so it is the first one here and the second one is zero and now we can actually just return back the cell and now we're done implementing our table view next the last one is the switch custom table view action here so when we switch our segmented control this is where we are going to switch the table view the only thing we do is just say we set the p value so p will equal to sender dot uh, index here so selected segment index and after p is updated we also need to update our table view so table view dot reload data and that's it what's going on here is that uh, totally from this function so when we switch our segmented control p value will be updated and then table view will be reloaded so these two functions will be called again and it will be updated according to the p value so here p will change so the the size of the array will change and the cell the title of the cell will change corresponding to the p here you see all right i'm just going to run and see the result And here we go guys we have the segmented control which is able to switch between table view and each of the table view also contain custom cell which we have created so it's perfectly working here and that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching to the end of the video if you find this video helpful please leave a like or subscribe and if you have any question or any suggestion you can just leave them down in the comment section below and everybody let's just keep coding and we'll see you guys hopefully in the next one